So while it all looks nice and warm outside, it actually did freeze. It's spring, it's not summer. Quite the contraption I built myself. I guess I'll keep it for a while. T-shirts, folding. And in case you wonder how I fold, this is this, this Japanese whatever way of, of folding um, a T-shirt. Let me show you, all right? Watch. Front side up, not the back side. Front side up. One, two, three. Pull her up. And magic. So let's talk about why you didn't see drone footage in the last days. When I went to Barcelona for the sales kickoff, I took my drone with me, um, but unfortunately I was not allowed to fly there. It's owned by the government and the managers of the venue told me in unmistakable words, you can do anything you want, but you cannot fly a drone. Missed opportunity. Shit happens. You cannot simply fly a drone in Germany. You have to have insurance. It's, you know, there's no way out. Without insurance, no flying. So. I thought I had an insurance and I checked all my paperwork again and indeed I had an insurance but this insurance was limited to drones to up to 250 grams. Now my Phantom 3 is around about one and a half kilograms so clearly that didn't match. So I spent the weekend finding out about the correct insurance. When you fly in Germany um, there are certain limits, there are no-fly zones, There's you cannot go higher than 120 meter, all that kind of regulations and rules. The most important one is you have to have a proof of insurance with you. A piece of paper that says you're insured to fly a drone. <sighs> so now I have an insurance that covers the whole of Europe, wherever I want to fly, as long as it's legal and as long as it's allowed. It's for drones up to 25 kilograms. So <laughs> I could start building giant drones now. Ah! 